as it's nearly Christmas, I really wanted to spend some time going to a different Christmas market. We have a Christmas market in Winchester that we go to most years, but I really wanted to go somewhere different. So I had a little Google and decided I really want to go. I have one weekend off before Christmas. So the third and the fourth is my last weekend off before Christmas, working in retail, it all happens every year. Um, but I really wanted to enjoy myself and go somewhere I've never been before. So I had a look and decided I wanted to go to Gdansk in Poland. Um, I've been to Poland before but never been to Gdansk. So it's right on the top of Poland on the sea so it's going to be chilly but I had a look decided when I wanted to go and then spoke to Rob and he's not coming with me I'm actually going to solo travel to Gdansk which is really exciting really nerve-wracking as well so I'm really pushing myself to do a trip but I really want to enjoy it before the festive season's over and actually get to enjoy the festive season working in retail festive season starts in august so it's really nice to like treat myself but i'm going to show you what i'm bringing and kind of explain about a little bit about the trip i am going to be vlogging on the trip as well but the trip itself is just saturday to sunday so i fly out early saturday morning fly back late sunday night so just a hotel for one night so i am packing very light and i'm only taking my backpack my trusty backpack that came all the way to Australia with me and back is going again but so I'm just taking that um so I'm going to pack really really light as light as I can but I'm really looking forward to just enjoying myself and getting to see the sights out there um so the weather out there is currently minus two when I looked earlier today so it's going to be absolutely freezing <laughs> so I've tried to prepare as best I can I'm not entirely sure how cold it will actually feel um but i think with the wind it looks like the wind's going to be the main problem there so I'm, my aim is to just wear as many layers as possible even if i have to take half of them off on the plane because i'm boiling hot wrap up warm better to be too warm than too cold so the things i'm taking with me the first thing that i've had to go out and buy normally i would steal robs but i thought i'll get myself a nice new one is a thermal base layer top this one says extra warm so I'm really hoping it is. I feel the cold. We went to Krakow in January a couple of years ago for Rob's birthday and I was so cold the whole time. But hopefully this will keep me warm. I'm going to wear this and a pair of thermal leggings which I've got that are in the wash because I actually occasionally wear them to work because the stock room's so cold. Um, so I'm going to wear them as a base layer. I'm then going to wear a long sleeve over the top and then probably this jumper and then them over there my huge duvet coat which if anyone watch, has watched many of our vlogs you would have seen this last year a lot I wear it all the time it is the warmest thickest thing I own it's so nice and warm I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna wear jeans as well and probably this jumper um, and that should hopefully keep me nice and toasty um, I'm then going to do my trick of wearing as many pairs of socks as possible. I'm not sure what shoes I'm going to wear yet. I'm going to have a look at the weather and see if it's going to be dry or wet. There is a chance it might snow as well, which will be interesting if it is snowing. But I'm going to wear just normal socks and then I'm wearing, these are actually Rob's, they're brand new Rob's socks, but um, outdoor socks so they'll keep me nice and warm. I've then got a great big thick pink scarf which hopefully will go with my outfits but it's the warmest one I've got and then I have got thermal gloves and a thermal hat hopefully keep my head nice and warm but that obviously everything there I will have on the whole time so luckily I don't have to carry any of that around I've then got just my normal toiletries bits and pieces in here um makeup hand sanitizer toothbrush that kind of thing the general bits and pieces all really small sizes fit in there it is a bit heavier than i would like it to be but it is all things i need hairbrush and then for entertainment because obviously i'm well aware i'm going to be on my own um so i've got my tablet for on the plane and my bluetooth headphones i'll also probably download a film on friday night so i've got something to maybe watch in the evening if i get back to the hotel kind of not really sure what i'm going to do in obviously i'll go out for dinner on my own but then you're only really going to go out for dinner on your own you're not really going to do much else but um so i might download a film so i can have something to watch in the evening got my um adapter plug 
the thing I'm probably going to need the most because my phone battery is rubbish, like actually rubbish. Great big power bank. That can charge my phone twice, I think, from, I used it quite a lot in Australia. I'm pretty sure I can charge my phone twice with that. Chargers for my phone. I will also have all the chargers for the camera that I'm bringing. I need to bring the charger for that. Oh, passport that I've just chucked on the floor the other side. Um, I think that's about it. I'll obviously have like change of clothes for underneath. I'm going to probably wear the same pair of jeans two days in a row because why not? Same jumper. I'll probably just change my base layer underneath. That's really everything I'm going to pack. My aim for the trip is to bring back some Christmas presents for people. So like my mum would really probably like a Christmas ornament from a Christmas market. Obviously it's space considering so I can't take too much home so it's gonna have to be small gifts for everyone but it'd be really nice to get some different gifts for people rather than the normal stuff that you get um something a little bit more special this year but for me the big reason for the trip and the real thing to push me I have never solo traveled ever I have never left the country on my own the furthest I've done is kind of flying on a flight where we're not sat together that's the biggest thing I've done but really it will really push me to my limits and for confidence wise I really want to do this for myself it's a big step and I'm really nervous when I drive to the airport on Saturday morning I'll probably be really really nervous but I really want to do it and prove to myself how far I've come and how much I've grown in confidence and the fact I can do it and actually bring you guys along as well vlog vlogging on my own that's going to be interesting but I really want to capture the whole Christmas market and hopefully I can maybe get two vlogs out of it and spend a lot of time doing the video. But it's meant to be, so Gdansk Christmas Market is listed, when I looked it up, it is the most romantic Christmas market. Bit odd to be going to the most romantic one on my own. But it's meant to be the most romantic. It's not the biggest Christmas market, but it's kind of spread out throughout the whole old town. So I think there'll be quite a lot to film. I'm probably most excited for the food. I don't think I'm really going to have to go out for a restaurant dinner, if I'm honest. As much as I was like, oh, I'll go to a restaurant on my own. I'm probably going to spend all my time eating food at Christmas market stores. Like, I just love trying all the different foods. Mainly sweet stuff. I must remember to eat something savoury. But my hotel's really close to everything. So it'll be really nice. I can just go and drop off stuff. I mean, my backpack's comfortable enough. I can wear it all day. But over the coat, it might get a little bit too much. I am also, that's another thing I must pack, is my little small handbag that you've everyone sees me take everywhere. I must remember to bring that just so I can have that while I'm out and about during the day if I want to leave my bag at any stage at the hotel. But no, I'm really looking forward to it. Cannot wait to bring you guys along with me and show you Gdansk Christmas Market, which I'm hoping is beautiful. If it has snow, it'd be like the perfect thing for Christmas, even though I just get worried about snow underfoot. I need to take some shoes that are definitely waterproof, I think. Just in case, make sure you like and subscribe and follow along to watch my adventure in Gdansk. I cannot wait to go to the Christmas market, so I'll see you then. Bye!